What's good, YouTube? It's Westgate Jordan. In today's video, I got some BandLab Auto Tune vocal recording tips for you. If you've been struggling with your Auto Tune and BandLab, I'm gonna help you. So let's get into it. The first thing that you wanna do, you wanna double check the key and the scale. In most cases, the key and scale will be correct, but in other cases, it will not be. All right, it's been times I imported beats and the key and the scale was incorrect and had me think I was tripping. You know what I'm saying? And I know I don't be tripping when it comes to the Auto Tune. You know what I'm saying? So. I always double check the key and the scale. There's a free website that you can go to to find the key and the scale for absolutely nothing. All right, you just upload the beat and it will tell you the key and the scale and the BPM. The BPM for BandLab is always correct. I never had no issues with the um, BPM, but you know you can always double check that. It won't hurt you. It won't like what what the, what the little two minutes that won't hurt nothing. All right. So like I said, always double check the key and the scale to make sure it's correct. And the second tip, always adjust the auto tune settings accordingly to what you need. Don't always copy what somebody else does. Choose the amount that you need. All right. So right now, I bring this up. Let's say I want to use all of this. Let's say I don't want to use all that. I can dial that back. I don't want it. Like, you don't always have to go all the way to the right. You can use medium. You can use light. Like, you don't always have to go to zero. All right? You don't always have to go to zero. Like, you don't always. So, like, let me make sure I'm recording. Cool. I'm recording. So, let's say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's say I want that amount. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Am I babbing in them? Am I babbing in them? Am I babbing in them? Like, I don't always have to use heavy. I can dial that back. It just depends on the artist and your ability to sing or sing with the auto tune or whatever, or whatever vibe or effect that you're going for. Like if you want it really, really robotic, you're gonna want it that heavy. If you want it to be there, but not like all the way there, you dial it back to like medium, you know what I'm saying? Or you can just turn it off if you don't need it. I just hit the microphone, but like turn it off if you don't need it. And the third tip, when it comes down to it, you really wanna make sure you're performing correctly, all right? If you're not performing with the auto tune the correct way, it's not gonna sound right. You know, so if you're being lazy with the auto zone, it's gonna sound like you were being lazy. If you were recording in the wrong key, the wrong scale, it's gonna sound weird, right? And you don't want it to sound weird, you want it to sound natural, right? You have to use your voice, all right? Your voice is an instrument, auto tune is a plug in for your voice, so you have to use it as such, all right? A lot of people won't tell you that, but listen, you need to perform with the auto tune. You need to actually try to sing, try to hit those notes. You're going to sound fucking crazy on the outside of the headphones. But listen, if you sound good in the headphones with the tune, it's going to sound good. It's going to feel good. You should never feel like you're fighting the auto tune. If you feel like you're fighting the auto tune, you're fucking up. So don't fuck up. All right. Look, and the fourth tip, record with a little compression, a little reverb. And if you want a little delay, Use a little delay. If you want a little saturation, use a little saturation. Whatever you need to catch that vibe so you can get the best vocal performance, do it. All right. Record with plugins. It's very simple. You know, we turn our tune on. All right. So that's what happens. We turn that on. Make sure I'm recording. I'm recording still. So we go to customize. You know, we can go over here. See, you see the difference? Like, that's a little too hot. So we cool right there. Let's say we want a little revert. Little, uh, shout out. Bad, shawty bad, shawty bad, bad. So you see, now the tune is kind of too heavy. So, bad, in my baby, in my bad, bad, bad. So let's say I want to sound like that. Let's say I want to dial in a little bit that reverb. In my bad, in my bad, yeah, yeah. In my bag, yeah, yeah, yeah. In my bag, in my bag, yeah, yeah. In my bag, in my bag, yeah. In my bag, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it just makes it vibe a little bit better. And the last tip I got for you. Record it as close as possible to the way you hear it in your head. All right. So if you want to say back. But you want to say it singy, whatever, with a little different vibe. You want to break it up. 
enunciated, like not even enunciated the correct way, you know what I'm saying? You got to perform it that way so you can make sure it's hitting correctly, you know what I'm saying? So, look at the phone again. I'm back in the phone. So, we go back up here. We're going to turn it up. <laughs> you just got to sound crazy. Like, sometimes you're going to sound crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So you're gonna sound crazy. And get used to it though. Na, 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 na. Whoa. I, like I hear it in my head like that, right? So that's what I'm saying. I wanna get lit tonight. Get lit tonight. I wanna turn on tonight. I wanna turn on. Ooh, ooh. I, I wanna turn on tonight. I wanna go out here tonight. Turn on tonight. I wanna go to tonight. I wanna turn on the party. I wanna turn on the party. I wanna turn on tonight. I wanna turn on tonight. I sound crazy like i probably sound crazy as fuck outside these headphones <laughs> you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like this crazy man let me turn this down and fix shit up man but look those are just some tips when it comes to recording with auto tone and band lab that you need to be aware of right like you always gotta make sure the key and the scale is correct right you gotta make sure you record with a little plugins to get boost your signal you know record with a little reverb a little delay however you choose fix the volumes and stuff like that Right? It's all in the vocal performance, all right? You have to perform with the auto-tune. You can't fight against the auto-tune. That needs to be your best friend because your voice is an instrument, all right? You need to play with the auto-tune, figure out your range, how high you can go, how low you can go with the auto-tune, what sounds natural, what sounds crazy. Like, recording with it will let you know when you get out of key. It, just, it fucks up, you know what I'm saying, when you get out of key. And I don't want you out here recording with bad auto-tune because band lab, you have potential to make good quality tracks in here. You have the potential. You have to be able to unlock that potential, though. So it all deals with you. Like, if your auto-tune sounds bad, always check the key, the scale, the correction, Check your performance. Make sure you're doing everything on your end. If you're doing everything on your end, maybe you need to move over to a DAW and get AutoTune plugins for real versus using BandLab AutoTune. But listen, you can record good AutoTune music in BandLab. You just got to know what you're doing. So, and I want you to know what you're doing. So hopefully this video helps you out. But listen, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Sky Jordan. I'm out of it. Cool. <laughs>